The Nationalist Democratic Progressive Party has decided to give the party's ticket to the state's Lok Sabha seat to former Minister of Agriculture, Dr. Chumben Muri. The NDPP's parliamentary board met on March 2nd in Koima, where the board unanimously resolved to give the party's ticket to Dr. Muri for the election to the lone parliamentary seat of Nagaland. The party appealed to all the sections of the people and political parties to continue to extend support to the government and the consensus candidate in the forthcoming elections. Talking exclusively to Hornbill TV, Muri expressed gratitude to the Chief Minister, the party and the coalition. He said the nomination for him is a heavy responsibility. Yeah, uh, LDP board unanimously resolved to award the party yeah. ticket to you. Yeah. So congratulations for us and then thank you so much for your time. Thank so you so much. to start it on a lighter note, sir, uh, how do you feel about being nominated by your party and DPP to contest for the mm. Sabha polls? Yeah. Well, first of all, uh, let me from the depth of my heart uh, thank the Honorable Chief Minister, the President of the Secretary General, and all the ranks and files of uh, NTPP, plus the coalition friends who are in the common. Uh, that's one thing. And uh, this is going to be an enormous sort of responsibility uh, if I am elected. I'm thankful to the party for giving me this opportunity. And at this point of time, I can only say that uh, a lot needs to be done because we are just one MP. So hopefully I will do my best. Uh, that's it. Sir, and uh, okay, uh, how confident are you in winning this seat? Well, confidence will come from the support I get from the leadership as well as from the colleagues. So I think on my part, uh, I've been there uh, as medical student in the central part of India also. I can mingle with the people and at this point of time, uh, I've got enough experience politically. So I think I'm confident. If you win, what hmm. will be your top priority and agenda for the Naga people? Well, see, uh, the central government is of pjp uh, led uh, PDA government. And they are going to come back, that is for sure. And this is a centralist government. And many, you know, those acts are met. And sometimes some of them, they are not uh, in our favor. Just for instance, the FMA in the recent past, and also the UCC. So these are issues that doesn't go well with our uniqueness, you know. So there, I think we have to be strong in our opinion. Uh, what is good for Nagas, what is not. So I think the, the main role will be for that one. Apart from that, uh, we are still underdeveloped hmm, compared, comparatively compared to other states. So uh, these are some of the areas that I can know. Hmm. Yeah. And lastly, sir, uh, actually the thing is, uh, last election, you surprised everyone because you didn't. You decided not to take part for the election. Mm. And now suddenly this good news. Mm. So you want to convey a message to the people? Uh, see, as my chief minister often says, we are increasingly becoming uh, more educated, but less refined. So Naka society is all, we are still in a nascent sort of a situation. So my message to the people, especially young people, will be to understand the dynamics, because we are living in a global world now, mm. to understand the dynamics of our progress and go with the tight. Uh, as political leaders, we will be there to facilitate in every way that